My boyfriend brought me Bingfen. Oh. Hello, it's Doris with Aldi Books. It is May 26th. It's Friday here. And uh, I thought I would just get on and chat a minute until my coworker walks in and um, startles me. <laughs> I feel like I get the deer in the headlights look when someone walks in on me. Anyway, um, I thought, I know that you have been waiting for this. I thought that I would finally spill the tea about China. The thing that I hate and despise most about living here in China is <laughs> my hair hates the water here, okay? My hair absolutely hates the water here. Uh, if you have uh, curly hair, partially curly hair like me, you will know what I'm talking about. My hair is very sensitive to water quality. It doesn't like it too soft, doesn't like it too hard, it has to be just right for me to have a good hair day. <laughs> and the water here is not just right for my hair. And I haven't been able to find a shampoo and conditioner combo to alleviate the situation. And I'm way too lazy to um, wash it with bottled water. I do, like we're going to prom this weekend. I'm gonna go get the wash and blow dry. Like, let me tell you, if you want a good time in China, go get your hair washed and blow dry. Oh my there is this woman down the street that gives you a 30 minute scalp massage as part of the wash and blow dry process. And it is next level amazing. But when my hair, I've never in my life had my hair blown dried, blown dry, blow dried. Anyway, I teach English. Um, I've never had my hair straightened in my life until moving here, and it is fabulous. It actually looks cute, so I'm going to get my hair done for prom. Uh, prom is Sunday, so we've been invited. I, my guy, Brent's been invited, and he's taking me as his date. So. Fun times, fun times. Anyway, Friday reads, so barely reading. Uh, as I told you, I sat at my kitchen table for five hours, night before last, um, just working out chemistry problems. I just reached a point where I'm like, I could see the light at the end of the tunnel and I just wanted to get the monkey off my back, okay? I just worked until I understood all of the last topics that I needed to teach stoichiometry, um, limiting reagents, and percent yields. I got it. I got it nailed. And sometimes I get that way. My, my good friend who is a family counselor, she told me that I have OCD tendencies. She told me this years ago and it just totally makes sense. Um, I'll show you my closets this weekend and you're gonna understand um, but she said that I don't have OCD um, because it's not debilitating to my life. Um, I, I can control it just fine, but realizing that I cannot control everything, I choose things to control and it, it calms me down. <laughs> so definitely spending five hours working out chemistry problems was excessive, but in the moment, it calmed me down. And then last night, um, I got home and I'm feeling overwhelmed with my reading because I, I have, you know, if, if you've been watching the channel for a while, the last couple years have been really erratic with my reading, um, because I got a boyfriend <laughs> and was moving to China. It's a big deal, right? Um, but this year I've settled into like, everything's calmed down. And for some reason, I ended up reading 10 books in 
January, which was great to be back in the double digits. And then I randomly managed to read 10 in February. And then these OCD tendencies kicked in. So I read 10 in March at pretty easily. And then last month it was a struggle to get 10 in, but I did it. So I'm 10, 10, 10, 10. You can see how, yeah, you can see that, right? So I'm feeling com the compulsion to read 10 again in May and I'm down to the wire again. I've only read five books in May and, oh, and we've got what, five days left? I have several started, um, I'm supposed to, I, ha I have to read, not supposed to, I have to finish two book two prize books. However, they're chunkies. Um, so I was trying to compulsively read the 500 pager yesterday and I don't really like it for reasons. Um, and it's an unpopular opinion. Other people love it and I totally get why they do. I can name all of the reasons why and all the reasons why they should. It's a great book, but it's not for me. And then the other one um, I am really enjoying and not everybody would, and I can see why. Uh, and I wanna read that one, but it's a thousand pages. So I knew I wasn't gonna finish it yesterday. So I'm, I'm torn between, you know, the books I wanna read and the books I should read. Um, so yeah, yeah, rock in a hard place with my reading right now. And then I also need to read a book naturalist book. I should read that one, but it's also chunky. And then um, I started the Makioka Sisters. I said I was gonna read that this month and I've only read the five, 16, 20 pages and it's chunky. Um, so yeah. I gotta figure this thing out. My mind's gotta work it out. I do have to finish the two book two prize books. But anyway, so what I did to, to calm me down, you know, was I worked on my watch later list on booktube. So I like to keep it under 60 because this is just how my mind works, y'all. It just doesn't stop. So I like to keep my book to watch later list under 60 because if it goes over 60, some of the videos get hidden from view. I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> it only shows you 60 at a time. So it's like randomized maybe. So you only see 60. So if, if it gets over 60, you're not seeing some that are on the list. So at least on my phone, it does that. So, um, I'd, I've been getting over 60, you know, life, life gets in the way. So I calm myself down by getting my watch later list back under control. I like, I'm a control freak. I like to control things, but that's just how I, you know, calm down my anxiety. I don't really have anxiety. I shouldn't say it like that. I calm myself down. Um, what was I saying? I forgot. Anyway, anyway. Oh, books, back to books. So I also um, started researching graphic novels. <laughs> I started researching graphic novels and um, I started by Googling um, graphic novels of 2022. I thought that's a good place to start. And it popped up with three that looked super interesting right away and then um i was watching that's so po during the booktube control watch later list process and she uh, mentioned a fourth so i've got four options i researched them um i think i think of the four three are readily Actually, I also checked out my story graph and found another one. So um, anyway, in this process of however many books, three of them are readily available to me um, between my um, library online app and um, script. So you can see what's coming, right? 
I'm going to finish those two book two prize books and read three graphic novels to finish out the month. So I will show you those later um, today before I post this video so you know what they are. I can't talk about the book two prize books, so I'm not going to talk about those. But the graphic novels, I'm going to show you the five and the three that I'm going to start next. And you can tell me what you think. So, yeah. I'm going to get started with my work day now. And um, I was going to talk about that, too. I love my job, y'all. It is consuming. I cannot remember ever working this hard at one job. I have worked this hard in my life, like, as a single mom making ends meet. You better believe I worked hard, but it was at multiple jobs and my main job, I didn't really enjoy it for the last 10 to 15 years. I mean, there were aspects of it I enjoyed, but overall it was my outside of work hobbies and interests that motivated me in life. So it's really weird to be here. That's part of my internal conflict is sitting down at the table for five hours working out chemistry problems. I realized somewhere in the process that I was enjoying myself. And that is so strange. Like, I swear, it's been pushing 20 years since I felt that way about like the things I was doing at work. So, yeah, so the, the internal conflict is that work is keeping me from doing the things that I have trained myself to do to enjoy life, if that makes sense. All my outside interests, I'm, I'm struggling to find the time to do those, like my cross stitch, my hiking, my reading, my booktubing, my journaling, all the things, like I barely have time for them and that is frustrating for me. However, I'm enjoying work a lot. So even working out chemistry problems, like don't get me wrong, there are aspects of it that um, are difficult to enjoy. Like grading papers is not fun. It's still not fun. And um, making copies, that's not fun either. <laughs> but, a lot of it is really enjoyable to me, so I need to retrain my brain. Sometimes we have to do that in life. We need to retrain our brains. Anyway, I'm gonna get to work now, so I'll check back in later with some graphic novel recommendations, and you can tell me what you think. Okay, let's do the work. Necesito recordar a irme a esta fiesta. Oh, here's some more biology projects. Oh, wow, Flamingo. Oh my goodness. I think this person cheated. <laughs> oh, Toucan. Peacock. Wow. Oh, this is so nice. Can I have one? Yeah, of course. Oh, thank you. So cute, right? Rudy, juice party. This day has totally gotten away from me. It is 3.30 on Friday and everybody's gone. I gotta go. <laughs> but these are the, the books, the graphic novels that I have found to check out. So, um, Messy Roots, a graphic memoir of a Wuhanese American. Obviously, this very much intrigues me um, by Laura Gao and it fits into my read Chinese literature this year. Um, I saw this one on That's So Po and she gave it five stars. I will link her channel below. Um, then this one I got off of Storygraph, uh, my TBR on Storygraph, Happily Ever After and Everything In Between by Debbie Tung. Um, I have read two or three others of hers. I adore Debbie Tung. Her graphic novels are right up my street, so definitely want to read this one soon. Then this one I got off of the internet just by googling uh, graphic novels 2022. 
This one looks super interesting. Um, Wash Day Diaries by Jamila Rouser and Robin Smith. And then um, this one, The Night Eaters. She Eats the Night Book One by Marjorie Liu and Santa Takeda. Um, this one, these two were on the 2022 list. And this one is, I noticed somewhere um, that, I guess in the reviews, that it was the same author as Monstrous, which has been so hugely popular. And um, I actually noticed when checking out Monstrous on Goodreads that my friend Joe, who comments uh, on BookTube quite often, um, had left a great review for this. And she's not a graphic novel reader. And also this one has cats, so. <laughs> I love, I love me some cats. So I actually have already downloaded this one and started it and the art is stunning. So I'm definitely reading this one, but um, let me know. I'm not sure if this one's available to me yet. I think this one is. This one is not and I already have that one and I, I can't remember about this one, but let me know if there are any other graphic novels you would suggest. I got a jet. Gotta start my weekend partying. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.